how do? Uh, well, we're back. Well, I'm back in your own happy new year. Tis the season, so they say, uh, for new years and new inventiveness and things. Um, I'm in the garage, as you can see, which is a complete disaster. It's been a bit of a rough back end, really. Uh, sort of uh, work-wise and, and, and time-wise. Been a great Christmas, fantastic new year, but uh, the difficulties we've had, of course, I've been working a lot, I've been 12 hours, and of course, my, my bench, uh, I'll just try and show you this, my bench is a disaster, uh, but we're doing as best, aren't we? I carry on, jingling on and bothering on, as they say back on. Right, now, uh, I'm here today because uh, somebody on the Instagram has asked me, for some or Facebook or some at any road has asked me for some advice uh, on securing objects to the roof rack, which is up there. Look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little video today about trying to store some things in your Land Rover, if you see what I mean. Now, uh, it's been a while since I've done any of this gimbal stuff. <laughs> and it's... He's oh, never very good at it to begin with, so I can't imagine I've got any better. Any road, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to turn camera around uh, and I'm going to we're just going to pop up onto the roof here and I'm going to just put a few things on roof rack with uh, with some cam locks and 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 uh, what do they call them, some ratchet straps and all that kind of stuff, and we'll see how we get on. Uh, but um, I just want to thank you all for tuning in and watching my videos. Uh, because it's 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 nice to be able to share Land Rovery things with Land Rovery people. Uh, my girlfriend thinks I'm nuts, but it's it's a passion, isn't it? It's what we do. So I just wanted to say thank you very much for for tuning in. Uh, also for like, I've got to say this, I'm to liking and subscribing my channel um, because uh, well, it's grand, it's champion that. It's nice to nice to know people are sort of. Uh, clicking on the on the channel and and carrying on and, and sort of watching things and and hopefully some of the some of the rambles that are going are useful to you all. Any road, uh, thanks very much for that. And uh, I'll flick the camera around now and we'll we'll have a look at the job. Now my Land Rover came uh, with some of these. Here. You can see me best axle. This is a Fisker's axe. I'm thinking I'm thinking of shoving it on bonnet. Um, I've had some sort of discussion about this with, with other Land Rover folk, uh, and they don't seem to think it's a grand idea, they, especially those bobbins from, those boffins from Land Rover who've spent quite a considerable amount of time trying to make the new Defender all sort of, uh, sleek and, uh, you know, non-pedestrian damaging and all that kind of stuff with crumple zones and what have you um and i think it's grand that i think it's champion but i i like usability and um and out here i don't try and run into people but any road so i bought this thing and i can i don't know if you can see here but I, i've been i bought some mounts here but they make some better locking chaps i'm told uh i think uh I can't just remember Thule or somebody, any road, somebody makes some locking, some locking versions of these, so I'm, I'm thinking of swapping them out and sticking them on here, because if I ever sell thin, which is unlikely, I'd just be able to change plastic bit, does see, uh, and then I can get rid of that and and make it new like and nobody had noticed, but I quite like that, uh, but a lot of folks say that they're non- they're not bothered, they prefer not to have it, you see. And then I just wanted to show you these wheels, of course. We've had a discussion on these. We put the this is the um, uh, the Nokian Hacker Polita, but these are on fast wheels. And I just noticed as I've turned the camera around that this, this I don't know what it is, but lighting's not bad here. You can actually see what they look like, if that makes sense. My Land Rover came when I bought it. You can see sladders deployed here, in, in, in preparation for es escalating to. Roof rack up there. Any road. Um, my Land Rover came when it came. It came with the. Uh, it came with these chaps in a bag, and these are Land Rover approved uh, ratchet straps. So it probably means they're overpriced and not very good. But <laughs> that would be being cynical of me. But my preference is actually for a cam strap. And not a lot of folk know what a cam strap is, so I'm just going to try and move this gimbal round. It's a bit of a slow process, pressing this button here. Uh, but the cam straps, this affair here, look, uh, and I've got them in me in my side locker box. A lot of folks say, oh, what do you put in your side locker box? Why, well, it's called a pannier, 
Well, it's like, that's what I call it. Uh, and uh, the answer is all sorts of stuff. I've got jump leads and tow ropes and cam straps and first aid kits and bits of ropes and, of course, shackles and gloves out that you won't get out in Ori that you don't want root around in back for. Uh, anyway, these are a cam strap and they're just like a little toggly chap. You just squeeze them like this and you poke the thing through and yank on it and it sort of stays there. Well, I like these because a lot of the stuff I carry on the roof doesn't need a full ratchet strap. I'm not trying to ratchet it into existence, but these just hold it firm. Uh, and one of the beautiful things about the Land Rover uh, OEM roof rack, if you just pop up here, look, um, is it's got some rubber inserts and I'll show you more about these in a minute but this rubber insert as you can see it kind of holds whatever you've got going on it holds them firm and uh, stops them scooching about on on roof rack and, and sliding about which is actually quite good uh the other thing i wanted to just show you here is that's me half of the the uh i've taken them off here for stuck something on top so you can see uh, we could do what we're doing today but these are me uh me rotor packs mounts and you can sort of see a bit here how I've mounted them, I've sort of squeezed them in between the two and there's a bit of tape here just stopping aluminium scratching aluminium and there we go on your own, that's that. Um, so that's that, look, there's me, look, with gimbal, can you see? <laughs> hello everybody. Um, right, <laughs> hello everybody, what the bloody hell are you on about, Verdi? It's worth remembering that loads that are strapped on and in a vehicle only ever want to go forwards or with the motion of the inertia of the vehicle. They very rarely want to go backwards because backwards would imply that you're going backwards and trying to stop or something. But so, and that's not a thing that normally happens. Um, so largely you want to protect things from sliding forwards or sliding sideways. Now these, I'm just going to use this cam lock here, which is what I showed you before. This is just my favorite sort of uh, tool. And I'm, I use them because they're quick, largely about out else. But you can see that this can here is on, it's on this rubber bit, uh, on these rubber parts here of the of the roof rack, and it sort of stops it moving about quite a bit. Really, it's empty as you can see. It's nailed in. Um, and this goes for out that you want to put on here, uh, that's of a sort of similar kind of shape and size or whatever, or even longer or whatever. Ladders, I use the same mechanism to tie ladders down here. So what I do. He says, try not bang his head. And no sense, no feeling anyway. Um, so what I do is I take the cam strap and I throw it, well, I don't throw it, but to put it underneath one of these straps so you've got kind of like a loop underneath, can you see? And then I leave this chap, uh, making sure that he's right roll up, I leave this chap on the top and then I'll just cross this over the top again and underneath, back here, like this. And then you've got this end loop here. And this is why... You should always roll them with the, this bit out because you hold on to that uh, and then you can throw that if you wanted. You can throw it over the roof, you see, because you've got a bit of weight about it. Anyway, undoing this here, this is a bit, I'm sure the longest one here just for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Um, but you poke this end through here like that and then you just feed this back through. Now, What's important to do here now is while it's loose, just adjust it so that when you cinch it up, you can pull down on here, but you notice that it's going to pull nice and evenly on here uh, and equally. Now, because it goes underneath these bars, uh, what you're doing is you're pulling the whole thing to the bars, you see, and, and so then you just give it a bit of a snug on here, like this, and then that's as firm as it gets. It don't get any firmer than that, and you can probably range on it and you want to move. So... That's, and you could give it a bit more on ground if you wanted to, because this is got this little rubber clasp on it, and even if it doesn't, it won't move that far. It can go on ground, uh, and you can just give this a bit, and it sort of squeezes everything together. Now, with something like this, you'd want two, really, uh, or you could shove it in the middle and, and perhaps span two of these things here. Uh, uh, and I'll, well, I could do that for you, couldn't I, really? I suppose while we're here, uh, and then we'd have a proper job but you could use two of these cam straps if you wanted to or like I've just said you could just pop this underneath like that and then run this one underneath another bar like this so you're strapping it down over both sides and then you could just give it just feed this back up through here like this as we did with other them 
and then remember to position while you're in. Let's try and look after these edges here. Oh, feet have started, that's just what you wanted to while you're trying to do a piece to camera. Anyway, you just give that a snuff like that, and there it is. Fair less. You want to go nowhere like And if you use two, um, you'd have this sort of fast right stuff. Uh, so that's this. Now, somebody else mentioned, actually, the same person asked me, he said, I've got to use some fuel cans. Well, I know this is a fuel can, but of course, this is designed isn't it, to fit my uh, roto pack system here. I, the same guy that's asked me how to secure things uh, asked specifically about one of these sorts of sorts of little um, whatever you call them these little fuel cans and uh, jerry cans uh, and the funny he said how would you put these on the roof and the problem with these sorts of squishy chaps is they're not very good to ratchet down because they deform they're, they're only plastic aren't they so they deform and they easily deform as well he says being beaten up by the light I knew this was going to be a drama so how can you stop and while the, the like everything else when you, you strap into the roof moving forwards is your problem so really you want to put it up against something that doesn't move forwards uh, and that's pretty hard really especially on something like this because it's i mean it's not bad but it's not great you know it'll move a bit it's over here for me camp strap now which i put to one side so uh the mechanism is is twofold really you could you could slide this through here actually i'll do it the other way and then i can launch on this so slide this through here and you can sort of uh, make sure that you tighten it to the front if that makes sense to the front of this the front of this bar here like that should have chosen a shorter one shorter working around with all this tail like that um or the other mechanism of course would be to do what we've just done with this and go around we could move this to like that there and then round and up and that would hold it if we could find the tail i don't know why i chose this long one i do have shorter ones and i usually use them i've actually lost one just recently when we went christmas tree hunting i must have just dropped knocked it off in the snow it was never to be found again um so you could fasten this down like this now can you see this is the same kind of mechanism we used last time but that only holds the front and then you're going to want to move this round and try and fasten the back down as well to hold it back if that makes sense because you need to do both now there's traction on these and there's friction on these uh these straps if you know what i mean and if you just get it right you can use the friction against the friction to hold it down. You just pull like that. And then wrap this round like that to stop the movement. Now I of course would use a second strap. A second cam strap round here just the same way. But you can see it's got it even like that. And then you'd have to tie this off and there's a number of mechanisms of doing that the first mechanism i use is what's i call a, a cinch loop you just this is a bit complicated really when you look so far away but you wrap it round a piece like this over the top round the back and then you take the tail wrap it through here and then you sort of round on it a bit really like that. and that'll hold it fast up it won't move anywhere now uh but best of course is two cam straps and you've got to make sure that you remember to try and stop it from going forwards because that's the way everything wants to go but this way you're not deforming you're not putting something right on the top and if you ratcheted this down it would sort of squeeze the whole can and put a belly in it you don't want to do that you want to cradle the thing so that you're holding it in multiple points so i've got one here on the front stopping it sliding forwards i've got one on the back pulling it back and then the rest of the tails are doing the work where they're doing now that would never come off that as it is it'd move about a bit but it won't come off that's the point 
Now, while I'm up here, he says with his cam strap, what I wanted to do was just give you a close-up focus on how it was that we tied that end off. So here's your, your loose end. This is just a cam strap. This is your cam strap, loose end. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to fasten this down. So the thing to do with this, I'm going to just take it underneath here. Like this. So I've got rid of some of it, and then I'm going to go over the top of this can here, and then underneath, like that. So we've got rid of some more now. Look, now we've only got this to deal with. I'm going to go around again. Let's do the same thing. Now there's a lot of different methods of getting rid of it. Some folk like to tie them up, and fold them in half, and or whatever. And that works too. So now I've got this length. Now you see what I've done here is I've pulled this tight with this. So I've got some pressure on here as well. Just hand tight, it's not as tight as they can. But you've got some friction between the strapping here of the of the cam strap. You take this strap and I'm just going to shove it underneath the bit that's the tightest. Can you see? So now we've got a loop. Put this on the top, there's my loop, put this on the top, narrow up the hole a bit. Now, if I move this forwards, I'm moving my loop forwards like this, so I've still got the loop, there it is, look, loop underneath, and then I take this bit, and then I poke it, the whole loop, fold it in half, poke it through like this, and then I just pull it tight like this. And then if I rank, if I go on to this, I've got to hold the, the bit that's connected at the knot, not the loose bit, or else I'll pull the tail out. And then I'll just give this a good pull, like this. Now, that won't go anywhere, because it's all tight here. There's plenty of friction here. And the reason I do this, and I use this loop, is because when you want to come to undo it, when you get to where you're going, you take this loose end, and you just pull on it. And it all comes undone. And that's the job done. Let me do that again for you. Poke it under this bit, which has got some tension on it. Move the loop forwards. Over the top of the strap that comes up from the other side. Like that. So you've gone underneath and over the top. And then you take the loop part. You make a little loop so you don't lose the tail. And then you pull it through, and you pull the knot end. See? And then you hold on to this bit, give it a snug, job's done. And if you wanted to, you could do the same again with your loose bit. Just to hold the tail out of the way. Like that. And then to get rid of it, because you can't pull on this, and this is plenty tight, I mean, it's not super tight, but it's plenty tight. And then you just pull on this, and it's out. Any road, there you go. Thank you very much again for listening. I hope I've been useful, and we'll see you next time for more of the same. Cheerio!